An Auckland woman has notched up a first among patients with heart problems in the Southern Hemisphere. Amelia Cunningham has a new version of a pacemaker type device called an ICD that can go inside MRI scanners. Jane Luscombe reports. It was a nervous moment as Amelia Cunningham waited outside the MRI room. A final check was performed on her ICD before she was allowed in. Are you apprehensive about the MRI? Uh, a little bit, yep. An ICD is similar to a pacemaker but more complex and most could be damaged by an MRI scan. Her cardiologist was there to keep an eye on her. You could potentially damage the device um, with the powerful magnetic field and the electrodes at the tip of the lead could heat up significantly and damage the um, heart muscle. But Cunningham has been given a new type of device that can go in an MRI scanner. It's a relief after more than two years of problems. The engineer's spinal cord was injured during the birth of her first child, which led to heart damage. That had to be treated with the ICD first. Now the MRI will help assess her spine. That's been sitting waiting until the heart, um, until this device was actually fitted. So it's been, yeah, long wait. The MRI will give surgeons a very detailed picture of the damage. Not only that. It's a, a huge advance because it means that our patients um, can have scans um, without being exposed to the X-rays that would be used, for example, in a CT scanner. There's a 50 to 75 per cent chance that a patient with an ICD will need an MRI scan at some point. Pacemakers were adapted first so they could go through MRI scans safely. Now the new generation of ICDs will be rolled out to benefit many more patients. Jane Luscombe, 3 News.